Hello everyone! Today I got the Commander Anthology. It's been out for a couple of days and uh, today I got it in the mail. So, yeah, what is it? It's the same as the Dual Decks Anthology, in which they have reprinted some of the old, old products. And in this case, four random Commander Decks. Now then, you would have... Uh, uh, you would have guessed that they would uh, reprint some old first generation commander decks, but they didn't. They mixed it up. There we have it. One box of commander stuff. So first of all, uh, what we see are life counters over here. Oh. And as you can see, the, the red stripe over here depicts on what life you are. They are very sturdy. They have a standard over here, so they, when they do fall, um, well, they don't just click to the next number. So you'll always know what life you have. And we get four of those. Excellent. I never got a chance to uh, get the Commander's Arsenal back when it was released um, because this one was originally given out with that box. So these are my first ones and I'm very happy to have them. Right, next up we have a booklet, a little booklet uh, about the decks. We have the Kalia deck, Heavenly Inferno, Plunder the Graves with Meren, and we have Evasive Maneuvers with Derevi. And guided by nature with Freilays. Right. Now for the decks. Let's just uh, take them out. Get rid of the box. Get some room over here. Wah. Okay. Get them all lined up. So, first of all, we start off with the... Chronologically, the first that ever came out, which is Heavenly Inferno. These are uh, nice boxes. Very nice boxes. And there is room for a complete commander deck sleeved. So that's uh, a good thing. So you can just sleeve these and uh, stop and uh, put them in the box and uh, pretend it's like a board game. When you have some friends over, you just grab it off your shelf and just grab it back and play. So first of all, we have the commander Kalia, which is a foil Kalia. Very cool. I believe these were only given out uh, back in the day with the com uh, commander's arsenal or as judge promos. One of the two. Well, uh, Kalia of the Vast. It's um, red, black and white. It's four mana, two, two flying. Uh, whenever Kali of the Vast attacks an opponent, you may put an angel, demon, or dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking that opponent. That is pretty sick, especially since um, it just remains on the battlefield. There's no return it back to your hand at the end of combat or something like that. And then we have some simple uh, lands. Of course, a command tower, which we will probably see in every single deck. Of course, the uh, a lot of staple cards in here, some basic lands. Right, then we get to the white cards. Bathing light, congregate. Oh, I used to play this card so many times back in the day. It's a four mana instant, so you get uh, a target player gets two life for each creature on the battlefield. It's really nice. Light keeper of Emilia. Ah, Mother of Runes. Very good. If you tap it, you can give target creature contr uh, you control protection of a color of your choice. Oros the Avenger, one of the alternative um, commanders for this deck. This is It's in the same colors. It's 6 mana for a 6-6 six, six flying. And whenever Oros the Avenger deals combat damage to a player, you may pay 3. If you do, Oros deals 3 damage to each non-white creature. And then we have Tadiel, the Reckoner of Souls, which is also an, an alternative uh, commander. 
It's 7 mana, 4-7 Flying Vigilance, and if you tap it, choose a creature card at random from target opponent's graveyard, put that card onto the battlefield under your command, under your control. That's pretty nice. Acroma's Vengeance, Angelic Arbiter, Archangel of Strife, Voice of All, the Dread Kako Demon, Fallen Angel, Reaver Demon, Acroma Angel of Fury, Avatar of Slaughter, Comet Storm, Earthquake, Mana Charged Dragon, Stranglehold, an Angel of Despair, Bassandra, the Battle Seraph, which was also one of the um, unique cards made for the very first Commander decks. Uh, Bladewing the Risen, Malfigor, Master of Warcraft, Orim's Thunder, Path to Exile, Return to Dust. Nice, you can never have enough of these. Very cool. Righteous Cause, Sarah Angel, Shattered Angel, the Soul Snare, Vow of Duty, Diabolic Tutor, Avincer's Justice, Razor Jaw Oni, Siphon Flesh, Siphon Mind, Vow of Malice. We have Anger. Oh, cool. I only had the old version of this one, the Judgment version. Cleansing Beam, Death by Dragons, a Dragon Whelp, Furnace Whelp, Oni of Wild Places, Pyrohemia, a Sulfurous Blast, Vow of Lightning, Mortify, Terminate, Wrecking Ball, uh, Boros Guild Mage, Dwargar Hatch Mage, uh, Gwilion Hatch Mage, Ors of Guild Mage, Armillary Sphere, Boros Signet, Darksteel Ingot, Lightning Greaves, ooh, nice. Also, you can never have enough Lightning Greaves. Ors of Signet, Rakdos Signet, and a Soul Ring, of course. And we get a Soul Ring in each and every deck. So, yeah. I have way too many of these. And some tokens. And these are not double sided, uh, like they did back in uh, the Commander 215 and 216 sets. These are just, uh, well, one sided. We have the Kitkin Soldier with some zombies over here, dragons. The proling tokens. And that's it for the first deck, the Kalia of the Vast. As it was released back in the day, the very first commander deck, except that the commander is now foil. Ooh. Sweet! So we put her back in the box. And we go to the next deck, which is Evasive Maneuvers from Commander 2008. 13. Now then, I have played uh, Derevi um, on the previous tournament and I will post a deck list of that um, in a couple of weeks. It failed utterly, but still, it's a, it, it was a nice idea, it was a nice concept. It was a tribal wizard deck and I don't think that this is uh, a tribal deck. So, Derevi, what does it do? Derevi Imperial Tactician, 3 mana, 4, 2, 3, flying. Whenever Derevi enters the battlefield or a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may tap or untap target permanent. And for 4 mana, put Derevi onto the battlefield from the command zone. So, this guy uh, bypasses the extra costs uh, for the commander if it dies. Excellent card. And of course, some more staple lands, like the uh, Bounce lands, the Guild Gates. Have another Command Tower here. Uh, okay. Yep. Temple of the False God. Alright, some more basic lands. And now let's see what the deck was all about. I have this deck, but I did not remember what the deck was like. So. Airy Mystics, which was in the deck as well. Um, yeah, it's just a simple bird wizard for 5 mana. It's a 3 3 flying, and for 3 creatures you control gain shroud until end of turn. Curse of the Forsaken, a Darksteel Mutation. This one is very, very cool. 
can just uh, lock someone's uh, commander with it. Make it a zero one insect. That's indestructible and loses everything. <laughs> Fiend Hunter, rune of the Hidden Realm, which is uh, one of the uh, alternative commanders for this deck. It's five mana, four four vigilance and trample, and for two mana, and you tap it, exile another target creature. Return that cre return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. And we have Rubinia Soul Singer, also an alternative uh, commander. 5 mana, 2, 3. You may choose not to untap uh, Rubinia Soul Singer during your untap step. And if you tap it, gain control of target creature for as long as you control Rubinia and Rubinia remains tapped. This used to be a very popular commander when commander just started. We have Angel of Finality, Flicker Form, Karmic Guide, Kirtar's Wrath, Mirror Entity, Tempt with Glory, Unexpectedly Absent, Azami, Lady of Scrolls, Blue Sun Zenith, Jin of the of Infinite Deceits, Dungeon Geists, Lu Jun, Scholar General, uh, Bane of Progress, Kazandu Tusk Caller, Phantom Nantuko, Ether Mage's Touch, Merc Fiend Liege, Conjurer's Closet, Surveyor's Scope, Sword of the Paroons, Thousand Year Elixir, Flicker Wisp, Stone Cloaker, Arcane Denial, Borrowing a Hundred Thousand Arrows, Control Magic, Curse of Inertia, Deceiver Exarch, Diviner Spirit, Hada Spy Patrol, Thornwind Fairies, Washout, Wonder, Acidic Slime, Curse of Predation, Farhaven Elf, Crows and Grip, excellent card. Also one of those cards that you can never have enough of. A split second, so that makes it really, really good. Presence of Gaunt, Restore, A Leaf Drake Roost, Celesnia Charm, Skyward Eye Prophets, Winged Quattel, Miss Meadow Witch, Celesnia Guildmage, Azorius Key Rune, Basalt Monolith, a Dark Seal Ingot, Leonim Blade Trap, Pilgrim's Eye, Celesnia Signet, Simic Signet, another Soul Ring, Swiftfoot Boots, another one of those Lightning Greaves, uh, yeah, Lightning Greaves cards. That's uh, really, really good. Thunderstaff, and then the tokens. We have a Knight, Spirit, and these are all, yeah, these are all one-sided as well. We have some Elephants, Elf Warriors. We have a Drake. Cool, we didn't have a Drake token yet. So this is the first one, back in this uh, Commander 13. They didn't uh, give tokens with it, so this is our first blue and green drake token which is very good very very good indeed so that's it for the derevi deck from commander 2013 now then we're going to continue with guided by nature from commander 2014 these commander decks were all monocolored and they rep uh, represented a planeswalker as the commander and in this case, we have the green deck. We have uh, Freylace, which was a planeswalker from back in the days, from um, the Ice Age until Invasion. She fought alongside Urza it, during the invasion against the Phyrexians. So, Lena, uh, Lena Fury, she is called. For five mana, she starts off with three loyalty. Her plus two ability creates a Lanaware Elf, which is a 1 1 green elf druid creature token with tap, add one green mana to your mana pool. Minus two, it's basically naturalized, destroy target artifact or enchantment, and minus six, draw a card for each green creature you control. And each of these planeswalkers have a little subtext uh, that they can be your commander. Yes, quite unique, isn't it? And then we have some more lands. We have Ghost Quarter. We haven't seen that one yet. Jungle Bassin. Yeah, each of these decks had um, all of these lands. 
the Visions lands. When you enter the battlefield tapped, um, you have to sacrifice it unless you return an untapped land of that color to its owner's hand. And if you tap it, you get two mana. One color and one colorless. Myriad landscape. Slippery car, Stratomorphic Expanse, Tranquil Thickets, and a lot of forests. Right, Mono Green. Let's see what we get. We get a Desert Twister, Drove of Elves, Elvish Mystic, Elvish Sky Sweeper, Elvish Visionary, Essence Warden, Farhaven Elf, Izuri, Renegade Leader, Titania, the Protector of Argoth. Alright, uh, these two were the alternative commanders for this deck. First of all, Izuri is uh, 3 mana 2-2. Two, two. It's an elf. For 1 mana, regenerate another target elf. And for 5 mana, elf creatures you control get plus 3, plus 3. And gain trample until end of turn. And Titania, the protector of Argoth. It is uh, 5 mana, 5-3. Five, when she enters the battlefield, return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Whenever a land you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, create a 5-3 green elemental creature token. Cool. Beastmaster Ascension. Collective Unconscious. Creeper Hulk. Elvish Arc Druid. Fresh Meat. Grave Sifter. Immaculate Magistrate. Jiraga Warcaller. A Lifeblood Hydra. Masked Admirers. Overwhelming Stampede, Praetor's Council, Primordial Sage, Rampaging Ballas, Siege Behemoth, Silklash Spider, Song of the Dryads, Soul of the Harvest, Sylvan Offering, Sylvan Safekeeper, Terastodon, Thunderfoot Baloth, Tornado Elemental, Wave of Vitriol, Whirlwind, Wolfbriar Elemental, Wolf Colors Howl, uh, Ren Runs Packmaster, Emerald Medallion. Oh, I love these medallions. Look at it. Two mana artifact and spells of the color is just one less to cast. These are so good. Uh, Predator Flagship, Seer Sundial, Gargoyle Castle, Aura Reef, The Fastwood, Grim Flowering, Harrow. Hunting Triad, Imperius Perfect, Alanaware Elves, uh, Lizalana Huntmaster, Overrun, Priest of Titania, awesome card. Just uh, tap it to add one green for each elf on the battlefield, not even under your control. Reclamation Sage, Sylvan Ranger, Thornwield Archer, Timber Watch Elf, Titania's Chosen, with his flower necklace. Oh, silly guy. A well-wisher. Now, I, I have been noticing this with a lot of the cards. I, do they have different art than the original uh, decks, some of the cards? I don't recognize some of them. And I do have the green deck and the Drevi deck, but I don't recognize half of them. Wood Elves, Assault Suit, Commander Sphere, Lore Seeker Stone, a Moss Diamond, Skull Clamp, another Soul Ring, another Swift Foot Boots. And we get to the tokens. We have some Tree Folk, Gargoyle, Beasts, Elementals, Elf Druids, Wolves. Yeah, and that's basically it. So that's a green deck. And uh, now, yeah, we only have one deck left, and that's a deck that I never had a chance to buy. That's from Commander 2015. Which is Madden of the Clan Nel Toth. Right. Now, Commander 2015 um, had enemy color pairs like this one, uh, black and green. Um, yeah, I didn't get it, this one back in the day, so I'm very glad to have it right now. So, what does Madden do? It's a 3 4 uh, for 4 mana. You get, uh, sorry, whenever another creature you control dies, you get an experience counter. At the beginning of your end step, choose target creature card in your graveyard. If that 
cards, converted mana cost is less than or equal to the number of experience counters you have, return it to the battlefield, otherwise put it into your hand. Great card. Another command tower. Also, you can never have enough, especially if you build multiple decks. You want to have that card. A lot of land. Right, onto the deck itself. Altar's Reap. Ambitions cost. Banshee of the Dread Choir. Uh, Barter in Blood. Blood Baron. Corpse Auger. Right, one of the alternative commanders for this deck is Jarat, the Golgari Lich Lord, 4 mana 2 2. And it gets plus 1 plus 1 for each creature card in your graveyard. And for 3 mana, sacrifice another creature. Each opponent loses life equal to the sacrifice creature's power. Cool. Sacrifice a swamp and a forest, return Jarat from your graveyard to your hand. And the second one is Mazirek, the Crowl Death Priest. For 5 mana, we have a 2 2 flying. Uh, whenever a player sacrifices another permanent, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Nice. Butcher of Malakir, Champion of Stray Souls, Dread Summons, Eater of Hope, Extractor Demon, Fraction Plague Lord, Scourge of Neltoth, uh, Sever the Bloodline, Wretched Confluence, Bloodspore Three Necks, Centaur Vine Crasher, Cloud Thresher, Kessig Cage Breakers, Mycoloth, Overwhelming Stampede, Pathbreaker Ebix, Terastodon, again, A Verdant Force, Viridian Zealot, Lotlet Troll, a Vulture Zombie, Bone Horde, Eldrazi Monument, oh nice, I didn't know this one was in here. This is a an excellent card for uh, creature decks. It's 5 mana artifact. Creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 and a flying and indestructible. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature, and if you can't, sacrifice Eldrazi Monument. This is such a great card, really. Grim Backwoods. High Market. Nice. Nice sec outlet. Uh, Diabolic Servitude. Fraction Rager. Rise from the Grave. Shriek Maw. Thief of Blood, Victimize, Acidic Slime, Caller of the Pack, Eternal Witness, Great Oak Guardian, Indrik Stompowler, Mulch, Primal Growth, Sakura Tribe Elder, Seder Wayfinder, Skullwinder, Spider Spawnling, Tribute to the Wild, Viridian Emissary, A Wall of Blossoms, Wood Elves, Golgari Charm, Grizzly Salvage, Korosda Guild Mage, Putrefy, Golgari Signet, another Lightning Greaves, Skull Clamp, yet another Soul Ring, and a Thought Vessel. And as our tokens, we have a Germ, some Beasts, more Elephants, Spider, Wolves, and of course the Experience. Pool. Right, so um, that's that. And if you haven't noticed yet, um, this reprint set um, features a new expansion symbol and it's all part of one set. So it's not simply a, a reprint of the old decks with their individual um, expansion sets like the dual decks, but it has its own expansion symbol. Well, thank you all for watching. That's it for all the commander decks. Yeah, now I only need uh, the plane chase uh, decks for the uh, anthology box. So, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.